हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर एजुकेटर बुरहानुद्दीन एंड इट्स टाइम टू क्रैम दिस इज अ सीरीज ऑफ एसिड बेस एंड सॉल्ट चैप्टर टू क्लास टेन एंड दिस इज अ ट्वेल्थ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इन टू डेज वीडियो लेक्चर यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न what happens to an acid or a base in the water solution with the help of activity 2.9 let's do a quick summary that what i had covered in my previous video lectures i had covered introduction part then chemical properties of acid and bases then i had made a rapid revision video on chemical properties of acid and bases and in this video lecture we are going to learn a sub topic of what do all acids and all bases have in common so these are the list of topic of chemical properties of acid and bases if you want to learn in detail then click the i button and watch it or if you want to learn it quickly then click the i button and watch my rapid revision video and with that i had attached notes also today's video lecture notes are also uploaded on blogger's website To download it click on the bloggers link which is given in the description box so these are the list of topics which we are going to learn i had already completed 2.8 to watch this click the i button and today we are going to learn section 2.2.1 and activity 2.9 so the question arise in our mind is what happens to an acid or a base in a water solution let us learn it with the help of activity 2.9 apparatus required for these activities are solid nacl concentrated sulfuric acid dry blue litmus paper wet blue litmus paper test tube rubber cork and delivery tube step 1 take about 1 g of solid nacl in a clean and dry test tube and set up the apparatus as shown in figure step 2 add some concentrated sulfuric acid to the test tube step 3 now fix the rubber cork in the test tube step 4 what do you observe is there is any gas coming out of this test tube yes here you can see the gas which is coming out of this test tube and that gas is acl gas step 5 test the gas evolved successively with dry and wet blue litmus paper So first take dry litmus paper near to the delivery tube from which gas is coming out. Did you observe any changes? No. No changes is observed. Now take the wet litmus paper near to the delivery tube from which gas is coming out. Did you observe any changes? Yes. Wet blue litmus paper is turned to red color. The question is in which case does the litmus paper change the color? So the answer is wet blue litmus paper. Now, on the basis of the above activity, what do we infer about acidic character of dry HCl gas and HCl solution? So the answer for dry HCl gas is dry HCl gas does not turn blue litmus paper to red as aqueous solution of HCl can have H+ ion separated in its solution whereas in dry hcl gas does not separate h plus ion which does not show any acidic nature and due to that only the litmus paper has not turned its color because hcl can only separate hydrogen ion in aqueous solution and in dry hcl gas h plus will be not separated and this is applicable to all other acids and what about hcl solution so it turns blue litmus paper to red as it has separated h plus ion and it shows acidic nature this is why wet blue litmus paper has turned to red because in wet blue litmus paper water is present there and if that hcl gas will react with blue litmus paper then as i already said that in aqueous solution hcl will produce h plus ion so hcl gas will react with that blue litmus paper then it will change the color this experiment suggests that hydrogen ions in hcl are produced in the presence of water the separation of h plus ion from 
HCl molecule cannot occur in the absence of water as I already told you. The reaction can be written as HCl plus H2O will give us H3O plus and Cl minus ion. Now hydrogen ions cannot exist alone but they exist after combining with water molecules. Thus hydrogen ions must always be shown as H plus aqueous or hydronium ion that is H3O plus. So how H3O plus is formed that as I told that hydrogen ion cannot exist alone. It can only exist with water molecules. So H plus will combine with H2O and it will produce H3O plus. So we have seen that acids give H3O plus or H plus ion in water. Let us see what happens when a base is dissolved in water. So let us understand it with the help of activity. Take a jar and add water in it and now add NaOH in the water. So what will happen if we add NaOH? So as you can see here NaOH will react with H2O and it will form Na plus aqueous and OH minus aqueous. It means that Na plus and OH minus will be separated in aqueous solution of water. So it is clear that when an base is dissolved in water it produces hydroxide ions that is OH minus and it can be occur in the case of potassium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide also that if potassium hydroxide will be added in water it will produce K plus ion and OH minus that is hydroxide ions and same with magnesium hydroxide it will produce Mg2 plus and 2OH so basis generates hydroxide ions that is OH minus ions in water basis which are soluble in water are called as alkalis. Do you know all bases do not dissolve in water. An alkali is a base that dissolves in water. They are soapy to touch, bitter and corrosive. Never taste it or touch them as they may cause harm. Now as we have identified that all acids generate H plus ions and all bases generates OH minus ion. So we can view the neutralization reaction as follow. So everybody know what happens when an acid react with base. If you don't know then click the i button and watch that video. So when acid is reacted with base it will produce salt and water and it is only known as neutralization reaction. So in general you can write as HX plus MOH will produce MX and HOH which is water. So H is hydrogen and OH is hydroxide ion. So you can see here in acid there will be H and in base there will be OH. Now in the place of X take Cl and in the place of M take Na that is sodium. So as a salt you will get NaCl and H2O. Now how H2O is formed that the H plus from acid and OH minus from base will combine and form H2O. So this happen when an acid and base are dissolved in water. Now the topic which will be covered in next video lecture is activity 2.10 that is what is involved when water is mixed with an acid or a base. That's all for today's video lecture. Thank you. If you find this video informative then like it and share it with your friends. And if you are not on this channel then subscribe it to get latest notification and updates. See you in next video.